All right, so now the next stop is the saloon. All of the towns have saloons, which are the hubs for social activity in Wild West Online. You can buy drinks, talk to NPCs to get quests, gamble against the house, brawl against other players, and take part in... Alrighty, we just stole that whiskey bottle. But, since no one saw us, our reputation wasn't affected. So the moral here is, if you're going to steal, don't get caught. Because if your reputation gets bad enough, you might end up on the most wanted list. And the sheriff's office is where you can see the most wanted board, and, if you want, enroll for duty as a deputy. Any player can claim a bounty. Now, we are saying that we're going to go ride out, meet up with my friend Mike, and he and I are going to hunt down those bounties and try and collect our reward. So, before we go out and hunt those bandits, we're going to go to a rest cabin. Now, in a rest cabin, um, you can do a variety of different things. You can rest, regain stamina and health, and you can use the crafting desk to make things, access your stash of your reserve supplies. And there he is, Sabian. We're going to hit him down, and he's got his buddy Davenport with him. So Mike and I should be able to take down those two guys. Pretty. Oh, oh there's a third guy. All right, so Mike, we're going to go left. We're going to go around Let's here. We're going to flank him. So you take the left flank. I'm going to take the right flank. Sounds good. You come around, and we're going to crossfire them. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, sneak up on this guy right here. And I'm going to shoot him through his tent. And he is going to be a sad camper. When the time is right, we are okay, going I'm ready. to say... Bye-bye. Now I'm going to sneak around here. And Got him! Oh, Mike took down Davenport. Oh, oh crap! Shit. Our guy Sabian just shot Mike. So now it's just me. Bastard. Son of a bitch. There you are. All right. Got him. All right. All right, well, thank you for that. I just unclenched. This is the Plains of Eidolon. This is, while we were walking from the relay, we streamed in three kilometer square space of gameplay for you guys to experience. Uh, caves and hidden camps, things to explore, a sense of freedom that we've never seen in Warframe before. Rebecca, if you don't mind. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Don't die, Rebecca. You got this. This landscape is, you guys know about how Earth is working for, right? You come, it's sometimes day, sometimes night. The rendering tech and the art for this has been built to have continuous day-night cycles. We'll do a demonstration of that in a second. The sun is setting. Don't die, Rebecca! <laughs> You will fight to survive in a zombie-packed, post-apocalyptic world designed from the bottom up to foster whichever playstyle suits you best. Home to many threats, post-apocalyptic Alberta will throw everything it can at you, from hordes of flesh-crazed undead, to AI trying to make their way through the world, and of course, 
other players that are doing what they can to survive. Though above all else, mistakes are killer. Plan accordingly. Our massive world is based on Alberta, Canada, and it is designed to deliver an immersive world that is packed full of landmarks begging to be explored. We've developed a huge variety of procedural generation tools with artist control in mind. AI and zombie movement are also tracked via the meta game and can trigger events especially if there is a large group or horde present. These events can be interacted with and will result in potential rewards or penalties depending on your actions. Our largest design goal is replayability. Experienced players, especially those that enjoy the PvE and cooperative elements of our game, will find every session to be different from the last. This is important because we want to play our game too. There is also a variety of buildings that you can choose to reclaim in order to aid your long-term survival. This quiet, unassuming suburban home is our first example of a building that you can reclaim. That, yes, you can move furniture around, you can place lights, lanterns, generators, anything, even barricade your own windows the way that you want. It is your house. Though, no matter where you decide to stay, you'll be responsible for getting the power back up, getting some water barrels, as well as maybe setting up some furniture. Another option to choose from is a loot-filled industrial warehouse. This is for players that like to customize their gear, as well as build things. If you're more of a fan of driving things, then the gas station and auto repair shop is more for you. Like the vehicles you are looking at right now, all weapons in our game are customizable. Currently we have over 50 unique melee weapons and counting in our game. This Back in New York City, and we've joined some friends for a free flight session in co-op. Let me show you what this Zivco Edge 540V3 has under the hood. This light plane is the star of many air races and aerobatic shows around the world, and right here in Motor Nation. That's another one of the Crew 2 innovations. Not only does it offer an incredible variety of disciplines, but each gameplay has its specificities and unique appeal. By the way, you can instantly switch between ground, water, and air vehicles with our brand new Fast Fave feature. This allows you to fully enjoy all the new perspectives the Crew 2 has to offer using only one button. From the top of buildings to the bustling city streets below or the busy waterways, the whole of the USA is ready for you to explore. Now you might have noticed, I keep scoring points here. That's what we call dynamic freestyle. Every stunt and feat achieved anywhere in the open world will contribute to your overall progression in the game. Doing aerobatics tricks, car and bike stunts, or just speeding up on your boat, literally anything you can show off 
will get you closer to becoming a renowned champion of Motor Nation. Now it's time to race in the great outdoors. This is Rally Raid, an off-road discipline focus. The objective here is simple. Get from point A to point B as quickly as you can by making your way through muddy tracks, rocks and vegetation. And of course, the organizers at Live have added their two cents to the challenge by throwing in a few surprises. The buggy A1 is a perfect choice for that challenge with its bouncy suspension, unconventional look and easy handling. After all, Rally Raid is all about enjoying total freedom to Monster Hunter World introduces new environmental hazards, allowing you to use the landscape to trap and mount your prey. Red Pit and Scatternut are just some of the ammo types available for your slinger and each ammo type comes with a unique set of properties. You can use jump attacks to mount monsters. yours however you want, so rally your crew. Swear your oaths and set sail for riches and infamy. Become a pirate of legend. Just try not to be this one. We um, had in fact in Beyond Good and Evil 1 when the characters were getting out of the, the overcraft. So here we have uh, that Monkey, which is my playable main character here, but of course you long, and the other one, the mothership, is about 400 meters long. I'm going to go close to it so that you can see the size. So when we have large spaceships like that, the good thing, the interesting thing is that they are, they are um, a real level of gameplay. You can go inside, you, we have interiors for, the, for those big... Um, something interesting about the scale and the feeling of scale. So I'm going to land on the top of the statue and you will realize how big it is. Let's 
So here we have a wonderful vista. No sheet or things like that. You can really uh, appreciate the point of view wherever you are. It will be the same mechanics. So that was one of the big features. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we had before showing the game to the public, to everybody, so that we, we wanted to make sure that the technology was working and uh, this big ambitious game was uh, feasible. Heavily reinforced hull, our frigate swoops in to save the day, bearing the brunt of the damage. Our gang of pirates is now taking aim at the frigate, and it will take team coordination to take her down. Fuego! Hold tight, lad! That ship's badly damaged! They are killing! We can take that ship! With the enemy ship's broadside now vulnerable, our frigate rushes in to board her. No quarter! Taste of blackened silver! Fancy snorting some fish, miss! <laughs>
That's what we built. So as you kind of see this, you're, you're going to see Boomer for the first time. You find yourself in the world. You know that this cult has taken over the space. You're kind of trapped behind cult lines. And what you have to do is basically find people out in the world and build this resistance. And it can start with uh, Boomer the dog or any other person that you meet. Pulled your parachute in that very short jump. Would anything bad happen? OK. Maybe we'll try it next time. Oh, jeez. Perfect. Except for all the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see. Go, go, Boomer! Take him down. Good nice. old reliable Boomer. Yep. It seems like if you name your dog Boomer, you're... And we got a lot of interesting options in terms of casting, and then we found a guy by the name of Greg Brick who is unbelievable. And this guy is spooky. He's a fantastic actor. He came in, he's playing our father, and the thing about him is, is that when you meet him, he was the one actor that I met that I... And, and showing the horror of the violence that happens and in, in, in it were this type of circumstance to take place. I mean, realism, weirdly enough, is the thing we keep going back to when it comes to the, not just the stunts, but also the performance style. I think, you know, it was very important that it doesn't seem like a bunch of actors. Kind of a way of, of seeing tracks in the world and sort of imagining what might have happened. Mm -hmm. And here, I, I just wanted to point out that you're seeing in this part of the demo that there are freakers there. There weren't there before because yeah. it wasn't snowing. It was, you know, and it was getting lighter out. It wasn't getting darker like it is. And so, um, you know, it changes oh, yeah. up the way you can play through the level. And what is this? What is so, <laughs> we call this the meat wall. <laughs> the meat wall. Yeah, and it's not just there, you know, to you know make the guys who put them up to, to seem evil. They're there for a purpose because, again, freakers are living creatures. They eat. That's their primary, that's their primary thing. They want to eat. Well, it's cold, so, right? Yeah, it's, they, it's because it's they cold. They have to build some... So fire. it changes yeah. the way the, the, the marauders behave in the level. Mm -hmm. well, that's very... Again, this is part of the reason why I love that you did this as a demo, because the, the the behavior of all of these things, not just the freakers, but the marauders, everything, there's a logic to it. You can track why they're doing the things that they're doing, um, and you can use it to your advantage in the gameplay. That's that's kind of what I like about this so much. That, that And that's really what we wanted to showcase this year, is that it's an open world game, and you know everything you see around here, and again, we're only playing this two different ways. It's new, isn't it? You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow. Now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. Such miserable luck to die by the sword you helped forge. Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge, over and over. Tell me, boy, who are you? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who burned it to the ground? That's him. That's the bastard who led the attack at Scalitz and killed my parents. I'm sure we're all agreed that all this unrest must come to an end. I finally have the feeling we're doing something worthwhile. We're helping to save the king. Instead of saving his drunken majesty, I'd rather find that horse than who murdered my parents. Get the sword back from him and skewer him with it. We have to put a stop to this senseless war.
Which means when you speak into your microphone, your voice is going to be coming out of your character and your character's mouth will move and everything accordingly. With this, we actually created karaoke bars where you can go and sing and just have a fun time with friends. And if karaoke is not really your thing, we have other fun stuff like cinemas. The cinemas are actually playing real movies. You can walk in, sit down with friends and watch an actual movie play start to end. We even have musical instruments that you can actually play note by note however you like. You can write your own songs, play anything you want. And to make that even better, we have places to play them, concert halls that amplify the music that you're playing on stage so all your friends can see and watch. You'll even find libraries full of player written books and art galleries that are displaying art pieces that other people have actually drawn in the game and they're for sale in the gallery. If you're looking for something a little more action oriented but you don't have a lot of time to get into the game, there's fun little mini games such as paintball that you can play with your friends it's made out of the colors. You can even put symbols on it. And when that is sold in a store, whoever buys it is going to have that exact piece that you made. What makes this even more interesting is that these items sold in the stores are priced based on supply and demand. So if there's a lot of t-shirts of a certain kind for sale in this one particular store, the price is going to be pretty cheap relative to another store that doesn't have any. Because of this, delivery missions can come into play and you can actually make money transporting goods from point A to point B and selling them again. We'll even have apps that you can use on your in-game smartphone or your in-game computer to monitor the prices of certain commodities at any time. If you're really into the business side of things though, the next step up would probably be real estate. The sacred oasis. I thought he was dead. Our Medjad, the last protector, our brother. Siwa has not been the state's father. I hope you are here to rid us of Medina Moon. Be my eyes, Senu. This temple resembles a fortress. What has happened? Get out of my way! You will die, Medunamun. Die, you bastard! Truck, get in. Want some of this? How about you? Uh. 
How will you decide who belongs? Thanks! How will you choose a place to call home? some weird fluctuations in the gravitational field. It appears to be localized above the planetarium. Whoa, it's a tractor beam. What do you think they're tractoring? Sounds like Uranus. Let's knit this in the bud, shall we? You're approaching the planetarium now. Confirmed Legion forces have taken up positions around the facility. You should expect to face some resistance. What a lovely surprise. The agents of mayhem. Hammersmith? This is a secure channel. You think too highly of your technological prowess. Do I have to come over there and kill you myself? Hey, there's something happening in that outdoor theater area. Why, yes. I turned this planetarium into my very own tractor beam control center. Agent, we need access to those controls. I've marked the location. about are forging an army of followers and nemesis fortresses. Our goal right now is to use the ring of power and recruit this Olaf, Bruce the Chopper, to expand our army. Then, we're going to assault a fortress controlled by one of Sauron's overlords. Ricky, you're going to skewer me. Ah, 
That little sword's good for a tickle, maybe. But you're gonna need more than that to take me down. Nice one, Ranger. Never happened to me before. You serve the bright lord now. That just happened? Yeah. I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball? It's complicated. Turns out Martin Lee is running the team. Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. Yeah, I got it on the weekend. You lead the way, I'll follow. This is a vast open world you explore with your friends. Each Javelin exosuit has its own unique playstyle. Hang in there. Almost there. You can equip your Javelin exosuit with gear that brings devastating power to combat. Oh, there are a lot of scars down there. Oh, the scars have a heavy. Have time to use that mortar. There's a bunch more coming in. <laughs> 